Hi, Erica here in Solar Home. I'm just going to run through the Alpha ESS charging and discharging settings. So if you open up your app and go to the settings on the top right hand corner of the page and click charging, discharging setting. So the first thing you can see here is the option to do a one time charge to the battery now. So you can set whatever percentage you want the battery to go to and click start charging. This is just going to charge the battery once now. And this is great fun that you know there's a power outage coming up and you want to fill up your batteries just before the power goes. So you can do that and you can click stop and it'll stop the charge then. The next thing you can see is charge. So we can toggle this on and this is how we can set um, a scheduled charge from the grid to the battery. Uh, and this is great in the winter months when we have less daylight and we can kind of use cheap night rate and use it during the day when it would be more expensive to use the grid. So here you can select what you want the battery to charge to. So some people have it at 100, some people have it at uh, 80, some people would set it maybe down to 50. Um, but you can choose whatever you want. The battery power, I'd leave at 5000. That's just 5 kilowatts, the rate of your inverter. And then you can just tap on this time. So midnight to quarter past midnight. Tapping on that opens up the time schedule. And then the most common one is for two hours. So that would be 2 a.m. to 4 a.m. Because it's the most common EV rate. So you get it for about six or seven cents for those two hours. So you can charge 10 kilowatts in just 70 cents, really, is all it'll cost. Um, so this means once you have done a setting and you're happy with it click submit and this just means it's locked in and now every night until you turn it off from 2 a.m to 4 a.m the battery is going to charge up to 80 percent and but if you want to set a discharge time schedule this means the battery will discharge to the load of the house in the time slots you set so some people have a peak rate and if you want to try hold off on discharging your battery all day until the peak rate starts, so maybe five to seven, you can tell your battery to start discharging about three or four in the day for the rest of the evening. So same idea, set the cutoff SOC, 10%, five kilowatts is perfect, and then just tap on the time. So I would say I want the, ba the battery to discharge from three for the rest of the night, so until 23.59. And that just means the ba uh, up until 3 p.m. of the day, the battery will not discharge to the load at all. It'll charge up to 4 a.m. And then from 4 a.m. to 3 p.m., the battery won't do anything. Um, so we can scroll down a bit. This is the, the cutoff, 10%. That's the recommended cutoff. You can lower it if you want or you can raise it if you want, but that's the recommended one. And then UPS reserve is backup reserve so if you lose the grid we'll have power outages um it's just how the battery will work if it goes below that cutoff so it's a long explanation there but really it's just saying if you lose grid power and the battery discharges below 10 when you get the grid power back the the battery will charge by the grid and pv to get it to that 10 percent straight away so that should be kept on and just so you can always have your your discharge cut off set at 10 and then off grid soc control this is when you're running off grid so if there's a really long period of an outage or if you actually just have an off grid system you can set your cut off so this one here to be five so you can discharge your battery all the way down to there or higher if you want if you want to keep it at 15 whatever um and then the battery will discharge down to there and then the wake up soc just means It'll discharge to five and then it'll charge back up to 10% with PV. And then once it gets to 10%, it'll work as normal. You can discharge and charge it as normal. Um, and anything you do, anything you want to save, make sure you click submit so that your say settings are saved. And that's the charging and discharging settings explained.